Okay, so I've just added the title to, to my game. Uh, now I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to add a line of just standard text. Um, so I'm going to keep it in drawer items for now. Um, I'm going to put a comment here just so as I can separate things. So this was um, adding title image. So just as a look back later, it can be useful to have the old comment uh, adding um, text. I can't think of what to call this. So I'm just going to have some text underneath so saying uh, the computer's chosen number is, and then we'll put a question mark. And the question mark can change into the number if you guess it right later. So, um, so again, we're going to use a Q label for this. So we don't need to go through the pix map stuff because it's just text. So I'm going to call it text one. So we might have some more text in a little while. I should call this something better, but that'll do for now. Uh, Q label. And I'm going to put the computer's chosen number is like that. Okay. So then um, I need to set alignment. So that's the same thing as we did before. So self dot um, text, the name of the thing you set the alignment for. So text one dot set alignment. I'm gonna actually copy this just to save a few seconds. So set alignment center again, which is generally the most common. And then we don't want to set the style sheet again. So self dot text one dot set set style style sheet right and this is where we can add our CSS so there's loads of things you can do with fonts uh, using CSS we can change you know bold italics change the font family is they call it you know if you want to pick a font they call it a font family and um, for reasons to do with I believe um, chooses what is the next closest font to it if, if you, you was viewed on a computer that didn't have that font i think that's why they call it that bit um anyway i'm just going to keep it simple and i'm just going to change the size for now but i might come back later and change other things like color so uh, i'm going to make it 20 pixels so size 20 effectively um so that's going to set that um, and then i just need to add it so it's self dot grid dot add widget and then it's I'm adding self dot text one um, only this time I'm adding it to row one because the logo was in row zero look so I want this to be in row one so it's underneath the logo um, but still in column zero and I also want it to span one row and three columns So when I run it, I'm such an idiot again. Spelling mistake. There we go. It's capital L on Q label after the Q. That's all it is. I make these errors all the time. And sometimes I try, think they're overcomplicated, and then I, I look too far. You just need to read the error. And it's really, even in there, that error message is said, did you mean Q label with a capital L? So the error messages they're designed to help, and I teach students about them all the time, and then I fall for the same trap that everybody falls for. So, um, and then it's working. So it's really, really easy to add text, and you just want to look into CSS more if you want to change a lot of things about the text. But I'll do some of that in the next, uh, definitely the next project, and probably a little bit later on in this video. Yeah. Oh,